Welcome back, you beautiful people. The worst mountain biking advice you've ever been given. Let us know in the comments down below which ones you have, but here are a few. Use the front brake as little as possible and make you go faster. Death grip. <laughs> Whilst it's true, improper braking is a slight issue. Now, totally eliminating the front brake can cause oh, loss of control out there on the trail and probably cause a little bit of a crash or an issue for you. So using front and rear modulation is key for a safer ride out there. So don't listen to that mate of yours, right? Saying, use the front brake as least as possible, dude, to make you go faster. That is bad advice. Don't listen to that. <laughs> ah, no. Oh, oh no, front brake death grip. Oh, 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 oh. I need a front brake, Daddy! Oh. Lower your tire pressures as much as possible to get maximum grip. Lowest tire pressure ever. Put down your tire pressure to the minimist ever. That is the worst advice you can give someone. It all depends on the terrain you're riding. Now, while low pressure can give you a lot of grip out there on the trail, but excessively low tire pressures can cause pinch punctures, rim damage, especially when the trail gets really rough and rooty, you get rim damage and you lose efficiency. It all depends on the terrain you're riding. Now, if it's super rocky, you would run a slightly higher tire pressure, but if it's a slightly soft dirt, then you would lower your tire pressure to get maximum grip. We've done an incredible video all about tire pressure. I've linked it down below. But take a look at these two. I got one for you, Blake, that will improve your grip to the maximum out there on the trail. <sighs> What's that? Lower your tire pressure as low as you can go to get maximum grip on the trail. Really? I thought higher pressures makes you go faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Higher pressures makes you faster on smooth surfaces, but when it gets rough and it's on the trail, lower that tire pressure as low as you can go to get maximum grip. Your tire will conform to the contours of that trail to give you extra grip. It's free grip. Lower those tires, man. So how low should I go? Yeah, it depends on the conditions and on your body weight, but generally you're looking between 10 PSI to 15 PSI. It'll basically form that tire around all those rocks and roots out there and then you'll get so much grip, man. And then just adjust from there. Simple. Ah, that makes sense. I'll give it a try. Whoa, squirrely. Ah, oh, I can feel my rim, dude. So soft. Pedal as hard as you can all the time to go faster. Pedaling as hard as you can everywhere. Don't listen to him. Pedaling at maximum effort constantly is not sustainable. And it's the quickest way to fatigue. Mountain biking is all about conserving that energy of yours. It's a balance between the two. So when it comes to technical sections, you have the energy to get yourself through it safely. Don't go about out of hell and just think pedaling everywhere is gonna make you faster. No, it's all about technique, pumping, bringing all of those skills into play so you can get down a trail safely and hopefully have a little bit more energy for a few more runs. Don't do what he says. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ignore bike maintenance because a dirty bike is a badge of honor. Neglecting bike maintenance can lead to safety issues and costly repairs. A well-maintained bike will bring safety and enjoyable ride when you're out there. Remember, a clean bike is a happy bike, and a happy bike is an enjoyable ride. Maintain your bike. Blake, do you even clean your bike? Because I've got essentially grinding paste all over it. No, dude, that's a good thing. A dirty bike is a badge of honor. Yeah. Really? I thought a well-maintained bike and a clean bike. Better. A dirty bike is a badge of honor. It means you've been out there pushing your limits and getting down and dirty on the trail, dude. So you're saying I shouldn't clean my bike? Exactly. Phew. And I was worried on 
How messy my bike looked. Ah, it embraced that uh, it's a sign of adventure and memories you're making on your bike, brah. Forget about cleaning it. Descend as fast as you can and don't worry about technique. <laughs> Speed is your friend. Descending as fast as you can, don't worry about technique, is the worst advice ever. It's extremely dangerous to ride down a trail without any technique because it's a recipe for disaster. It's very important to learn then practice all of those techniques about descending because when you head out there into the big old mountains, there's gonna be exposed drops and trails and you do not wanna make a mistake out there because it will be catastrophic. Go on, out of, out of, out of, yeah! Oh. Don't worry about it, full ah. gas! Yay! <laughs> Nice. nice! Follow the rider in front of you blindly because they know the best line. Following a rider in front of you blindly, they know all the best lines. Yes, from an experienced rider, getting some guidance from them can be key. But following them blindly down a trail that you don't really know can end in tears. So, look at your surroundings. Judge your own abilities to ride that trail. Assess the trail itself. Because if you drop into a trail that's a little bit out of your pay grade, it can end in tears. Now, I'm not gonna lie, riding blindly is a lot of fun. But just make sure that you're up to scratch with the trail and your skills to conquer that trail blindly. Bigger jumps and features are always better. Go big or go home. <laughs> Big jumps and features, bigger is always better. Attempting such features without the skills to hit these big jumps is gonna end in tears. It's all about training responsibly, building up the confidence and skills to hit these big jumps. Because if you don't, you're gonna hurt yourself. Well done. Didn't have the skills, but he went round it. When your mates are saying go big or go home, and you don't have the skill levels internally to do it, then just go home. Because that saying is just a recipe for disaster. Don't do it. I'm gonna do these jumps, they look cool. Don't bother about a bike fit, just adjust everything till it feels right. Pfft, don't listen to them. When it comes to buying a brand new bike, fit matters. Now most manufacturers out there on their websites have a sizing chart to a bike that fits you to the T. But there's nothing better than visiting your local bike shop to get some human input. Ask them questions about the bike you're gonna be buying. Ask them about fitment, they can measure your inside thigh, they can get the bike that fits you to a T. There's nothing better than visiting your local bike shop. I've ridden a bike that was two sizes too small and I thought it was perfect, but I bought a bike that was perfect for me and it was incredible. Worst advice Woo, ever. Go, 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 go. No, oh, worst to okay. get out. Go big or go home. No, no go stop me. it. Get out. Go home. <laughs> go home yeah. now. Yeah. Get out. Anyway, I'm sure we've had a few questionable uh, advice throughout our lives till now. Let us know in the comments down below if we've missed any out because uh, I'm sure you've got some. Some that uh, is very questionable. Anyway. My best advice is just get on your bike, practice as much as you possibly can, and just have fun. As long as you got one of these on your face, you're having a good time.